Hello, in this video we're going to measure monopsony power. So we have a monopsony that sells a good in a competitive marketplace at a price equal to P. The monopsony produces output and output, the quantity of output is a function of labor. And the monopsonist pays a wage where the wage is a function of labor. In other words, the monopsonist faces the market supply of labor that is upward sloping. All right, so we're going to maximize profit. We're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to labor. So we get P multiplied by the marginal product of labor. So this derivative here of the production function with respect to labor, that's just going to be the marginal product of labor. And then we need to take the derivative of the wage function with respect to labor. And that's all being multiplied by L. And then finally, with this last term over here, we take the derivative of L, which is just 1, and that 1 is being multiplied by W, so that's where this minus W is coming from. And setting that derivative result equal to 0 because we're maximizing. Simplifying a little bit, moving some things around, we get this result. Recognizing that the left-hand side, the price times the marginal product of labor, is the marginal revenue product of labor, MRP. The next thing I do on the right-hand side is I factor out wage. So W times 1 gives us back this W. And then W multiplied by this last term in parentheses gives us back this result here. So the only trick here is this L. I have to divide it by W. And the next thing to note is that the elasticity of labor supply will equal the following. It's the derivative of the labor supply equation with respect to the wage multiplied by the ratio of the wage to units of labor. And so you'll notice in parentheses here we have the reciprocal of the elasticity of labor supply. So I'm going to make a substitution by putting one over the elasticity of labor supply. And the next thing I will do is divide both sides through by the wage. We get this result. And then I'll subtract one from both sides to get this result. And then this one can just be represented as W divided by W and then adding up the fractions on the left-hand side, we get this expression, which is going to be a measure of monopsony power. And we can note here that the measure of monopsony power is based on the gap between marginal revenue product and the wage expressed as a fraction of the wage. This is analogous to the learner index. One thing to note here, in a perfectly competitive market, labor market, a firm faces a perfectly elastic labor supply curve, so the elasticity of labor supply is infinity, and as a result, marginal revenue product will equal the wage. All right, let's do some numerical examples. Example one, let's say that the marginal revenue product is 40, and firms are paying their workers twenty dollars each using our measure of monopsony power and substituting in our results the elasticity of labor supply is one another example here you'll notice that the gap between the marginal revenue product and the wage is a little bit smaller Plugging, uh, plugging in our results. And we get elasticity of labor supply equal to 3. So as we've seen here with these examples, the less elastic is labor supply, the less elastic is labor supply, the greater the gap between marginal revenue product and the wage. On the other hand, the more elastic is labor supply, like in our last example, the smaller the gap between marginal revenue product and the wage. As the elasticity of labor supply increases, monopsony power falls. 
and this there's parallels to this to monopoly with monopoly as elasticity of consumer demand increases monopoly power falls all right that's it i hope you found this video helpful